Well, um, things are not according to plan. Lalong lalo na dun sa part na gusto ko sanang uh, i-feature kung paano ko, paano ko nakapunta uh, sa medyo malayong lugar. And when I met Balayo, eh, uh, somewhere near Manila, mga Makati na rin. Kasi, uh, quite honestly, for the past year, dun pala ako nakabiyahe ng sobrang layo. Um, pinakamalayo ko na yata is um, papuntang Alabang. And in very brief um, moments pa, kasi uh, limitado lang din yung lakad ko uh, just to pay some bills uh, get some stuff uh, grab supplies and all that hindi yung tipong makikipagkita ka sa isang tao uh, at talagang mag ano ka uh, you'd spend uh, some time with him or her in my case, her. Uh, so, talagang hindi ko rin talaga na um, alam mo yun, hindi ko rin ina-expect na ganito ang kalalabasan. So, I really thought of this um, this video being half content, half uh, vlog. But, it turns out it's gonna be more of content than vlog. I would feature a little bit of it, a little bit of the uh, the whole thing, yung pagkikita namin, na record ko naman siya. Kaya lang kasi, as the day progressed, uh, yun niya, um, wala, nawala na ako ng ano, nawala na ako ng battery, um, na low bata na low bata ko and uh, ayun hindi wala akong means para um makuha ng power bank and um i don't know maybe maybe i would need to have that talagang medyo mahina lang talaga ang baterya ng uh ng phone na to kasi i'm recording on a phone here uh, and um ayun ko kung halata na nagre-record ako sa isang phone so with that out of the way let's begin the following video may contain sensitive topics the views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own furthermore any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not in any way reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Beware the Ides of March. This was the warning given by a soothsayer to Julius Caesar before he was assassinated by a group of senators as the last great dictator of the Roman Republic. More than 2,000 years later, on the Ides of March of Annus Horribilis 2020, the Great Lockdown was commenced due to the coronavirus or COVID-19. A year hence, things have changed drastically. No more crowds, no more rancor, no more socialization. Everything must be done from a distance, even non-vital work. I can consider myself lucky. Uh, the year before transitioned me to this dark time, to a time when going out is a risk, when physical contact is a risk, when not being protected is a risk, when all that you do is one big risk and come 2021 vaccines slowly arrive but many have died millions have suffered most of us thought this was too unbearable because it really was 
but rather than the obvious, have we learned something? Have the vaccines arrived too late? What comes next for all of us? My name is Ian Rignon, an independent media practitioner, freelance writer, and aspiring content creator. Today, we reflect on things that seem to be lacking clarity or could not be done so definitively. For things that would make us say, remember the Ides of March. The 14th of March 2020 was the date I would always remember. The date, let's say, uh, or the day, or a certain day, or we can also interpret this as a uh, date, is as in a uh, romantic date and all that. Because it was the last time I have physically met with the love of my life on a regular date prior to this video. She has been very gracious and is living up to her name in making sure both of us would stay in love and support whatever endeavors we are venturing into so far. 2019 was my personal annus horribilis, but it seemed to it that it was extended up until 2020. Without wasting further words, it seemed to be the nearest experience to the fires of hell of which I utterly dread. And then the bad news hit, and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. The Philippines just experienced the, the wrath of Taal, and it seems to be on the verge of erupting again. Then, COVID hit our nation, and it hit us hard. Churches, mosques, temples, restaurants, malls, schools, any place where four to five people of different origin points gather is considered a powder keg for a health disaster. But the worst thing that people have to endure is the sense of helplessness, that they could not return to their jobs, to their homes, to their family, families, even to themselves. They turn to religion while aching to go to church, to philosophy although books are scarce, to science when experiments and research was close to none, to outright rationalizing that this was history repeating itself a hundred years after the Spanish flu. And in that same vein, there are fears that the mid-2020s would be another false hope, the mid-2030s another financial recession, and climaxing in the mid-2040s with another human catastrophe, the worst nightmare of all, nuclear war. But we are going too far ahead of ourselves. In the here and now, we also witnessed changes and transitions that might offer us a fighting chance of surviving this pandemic alive and well. Aside from vaccines, we all have transitioned to things that we could do at the confines of our own homes. This YouTube channel was a turning point for me to venture into content creation at least eight months ahead of many others who have done the same. Aside from YouTube, I have rediscovered my media skills in writing, editing, recording, and innovating. And I still look forward to doing more maybe related to this um to the things that i have studied or not maybe i've been trying to think ano kaya, paano kaya maging isang delivery rider that would, i don't i don't i don't think it's a good i don't think it's a bad gig i mean marami naman akong kilala ng delivery riders and i think ano din uh, they can give me a little bit of insight on uh, how to do it. But anyway, if you're a delivery rider, uh, just comment down below uh, the pros and cons. Uh, kung masaya ba siya, uh, lalong lalo na kung ano. Uh, hindi naman talaga ako 
the delivery rider full time. So we had things Sabado and go, whatever. Um, kung, kung involved kayo sa ganyan, um, I would appreciate it if you would let me know what um, what the trade implies. So just comment down below. For work, I have transitioned from an office-based media job to a home-based one, which I am still mastering alongside focusing on the task at hand while trying to multitask other aspects of work as long as I can. In a way, Anos Horribilis 2020 gave me that intense rest, which almost bordered into complete lethargy if not for me looking for work constantly. As for my dearest girl, she has been pretty busy with her two jobs, one language class, and one hobby. I only wished I had her sense of productivity, but then again, I take that as a challenge uh, for me to set up and do things I might not love and carefully pick the hobbies that would not burn me up or out in the long run. Now before we continue, I would like to ask you a favor. If you're new to this channel and you like the content you're seeing, uh, please click the big red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen and make it gray. Uh, and then ring the notification bell by selecting all. Also, this channel aims to provide quality, informative content in the Filipino context aside from the usual con commentaries we see in this part of the McLuhanist Global Village. Every interaction is helpful, so I hope you would consider uh, checking out this channel. So, I would absolutely appreciate it. A year after our last physical date, my partner and I met again. Missing each other's touch, each other's face, each other's voice than the one heard on our devices. It was very much square one all over again. Except that we have not had a major fight. I mean, I dread having a uh, having a fight with her because it feels like hell. But then again, uh, it turned out very well. And um, aside from the fact that I didn't have any um, power backup, uh, it turned out very well. So, brang uh, hinapit talaga namin yung oras and. Uh, I just don't know. I just had to uh, record some of the things, some of these, uh, no, some of these memories, and uh, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be a little bit of a uh, mishmash or very short clips lang din kasi nga, uh, sobrang low lobat ako, and yun nga, uh, <laughs> uh, it was absolutely unexpected. Uh, I didn't want this to be um, talking a talking heads video all over again, but then again, well, um, things like that happen, so uh, we just have to um, trudge on and do um, and do something about it. So uh, here goes the here goes the clips. Flashback. So, yan nga. Ito. Uh, sa biyahe ako ngayon, akala ko kasi may um, point to point na bus pag weekends. Uh, alamang ko lang na wala pa na. So, ito. Nag-normal bus lang ako. So, uh, I just hope uh, I just hope it's good. Okay, so, kala ko kakana kami ng EDSA. Sinabi ako pa naman, sinabi ako pa naman yung, pupunt, yung, yung pupuntaan ko na kakana kami ng EDSA. Hindi pala. Oh well. We'll see kung saan ako pababa na ito. Hi there! We are here! Live! Ay, not really live, pero, as you can see, andito na ulit ako sa Makati after, I don't know, two years? After two years of, almost two years of uh, uh, not being here, basically just across the street was my former is my former workplace. 
Kaya kahit pa paano ay medyo aware ako sa ano na to Lugar na to I'm a bit late <laughs> Medyo natakot ako Baka pabuntang Maynila yung ano eh Yung bus eh Umigot pa sa Buendia Kumayan sa Ayala And basically I'm just at the right place to alight This is basically Paseo de Rojas uh, Ayala Corner Paseo de Rojas So Tama lang ang binabaan ko Kunti lakad lang Nasa, nasa Destination na ako So Yeah Balaga <laughs> Sorry ah Nalito ako eh Na Umikot pala yung bus papuntang ano Papuntang Buendia Buti pala ganun kasi Baba na ako ng paseo tapos nilakad ko na lang Ah uh, Nga pala <laughs> Ano Basta naman Ang time na usi Ang time na usi? Ang time na usi? Ang time na usi? Ang time Una Na ano ako <laughs> Tiyatamad ako, pangalawa I mean Minsan-minsan lang naman akong nag-support ng ganito Dahil hindi naman tala regulation so You know <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Alright, so andito ako ngayon, lunch date, and um, she's, uh, yung siyang kadate ko ngayon. I really hope na, ano to, uh, na ito, maging ano siya, maging frequent siya. Kasi sa totoo lang, na-miss ko siya eh, sa totoo lang. Wala lang. Um, nakita ka ba, nakita ka ba, ano, full picture ka ba na? Ano? Full, full picture ka ba dyan? Ano? Full picture ka ba dyan? Hindi ka ba hati or whatever? Ano no? Hati ka ba dyan o oh, hindi? Hindi naman. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Kasi ano eh, uh, wala akong tripod, wala akong kahit ano. I just wanted to uh, tell you all that I'm safe and well. Both of us are safe and well. And, uh, yun. <laughs> um, basically, this is a date that I've been looking forward to for the past year. Eh, ba diba, no? Parang... Isang taon na din tayong ano, hindi nakita, di ba? Parang... Almost exactly this year, di ba? Yeah. Yun. Yun, na ano lang. Sob, sobrang ano, sobrang... Kulang na lang ano eh. Kung di lang doon sa leching ano na yan. <laughs> uh, ordinance na yun na bawal daw ang PDA sa ano. PDA sa within Metro Manila. That's absolutely stupid. I, I don't question the higher ups, pero naisip ko... Bakit kailangan pa nilang yun, yun i uh, ano yun? Itakil yun. But then again, it's ano, it's something that's not really ano, it's not really uh, I mean, it's not something to be ano, to be tackled about. Hindi siya yung sobrang laking issue. Sa totoo lang, but then again, it's good to consider. I mean, di ba? Anyway, um, any words out there? <laughs> I'm just glad to see you again here. Yeah, ako rin, ako rin. Anyway, uh, lala. Uh, ang ganda niya, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yun lang. <laughs> anyway, see you later. End of flashback. If there's one thing I have learned with this experience other than believing in God more fervently, which in itself already proved to be too difficult, is to believe in oneself that it is never too late to go back to square one, that it is only too late when you die not trying. It is a very hard saying, but in the spirit of Lent where we contemplate the wounds we have inflicted our Lord, God, and Savior, and in the lives of some of his saints who had to deal with having missed out one thing or another that would define them as holy men and women, 
I would take the stories and examples as a lesson. And as I waved her farewell for now, I can only imagine the ache in our hearts that we would have to bear with phone calls until the next time we would meet. I only hope and pray that we would meet each other again very soon and eventually never be separated again. And at this point, uh, I should have been um, commenting same day after the vlog, but uh, since it's a talking heads thing, I ko naman na lahat ng gusto ko sabihin, lalong lalo na yung ano, yung sitwasyon or yung setbacks ng ano, ng video na to. Anyway, to ano, to make it short, it was very nice and um, it's just basically a lunch date and um, strolling out um, strolling out the uh, the three malls of Makati and I'm niya kusan yung mga yun um, connectado siya through a sky bridge and all that and then uh, she took a grab home and uh, good thing that she arrived um, safe and well as for my part medyo nahirapan din ako kasi <laughs> um, I don't know you, know you might notice na naka N95 ako nun N95 mask kasi first of all, that was the first time that I have um, you know uh, I've ventured out that far uh, pangalawa uh, marami akong dala uh, for some reason eh, uh, she just basically um, told me na kaawa yung setup mo kitang ano, tulungan kitang ayusin yung setup mo. And, um, kahit pa paano, she's, ano, she's very gracious in, um, giving me some of the stuff here. Um, you might notice na iba na yung lighting ko. And, um, preliminary pa lang yan, na um, di walang kung paano ko ano yun yan. <laughs> ayusin yan. But, thanks to her, that's all good. And finally, um, should be, you know, I should have been uh, home uh, a little bit sooner. Overall, uh, it's been a very long day, very tiring day. But I, at the very least, eh, nakatulog ako ng mahimbing. And I've been recording this at around 2 in the morning, so... Later that same evening. Anos Horribilis 2020 is gone. In 2021, we strive to bounce back. Whatever we are doing and whatever we are, when, wherever we are at this time does not matter. With the grace of God Almighty or whatever divine power you believe in, we will be better. We will try to get back to whatever we were doing pre-pandemic as much as possible and as safe as possible. Or if we have moved forward with other things, we will be brave enough to venture into the unknown and hopefully live to tell the tale. In short, whatever you do out there, always think of this. Remember the Ides of March. And with all that said, this is Ian reminding you to, at all times, now more than ever, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive. See you next time. Ian out.